It is not that serious for a damn fifth five dollars. It is called a raffle. I don't know if you guys have been to school before, but I know I've been to school and we used to have raffles all the time where a ticket might, but it's a physical ticket. You might get five, put in five dollars, two dollars, whatever. And you get a prize. Like people do raffles all the time. Are you Honduran? Yes, I am. Yes, the money goes towards the prize. And then, like I said, if there's anything left over, I'm doing a second giveaway um, soon. So that's what it's going towards. I do not need money. Me personally, I do not need money. And I'm not saying this like I'm in a bragging way or anything like that or in a mean way. I'm just letting you guys know I do not personally need money. Well, then riddle me this, Batman. Why are you asking me for $5, Miss Mamas, if you don't need the money? But no, in all seriousness, Sky Jackson is trending after receiving some scrutiny for asking for $5 donations for people to enter a raffle for them to win a MacBook Pro. Now, I get it. I know you guys are immediately asking, wait, huh? Wait, that does not make sense. And I'm right there with you because I... I don't know why a millionaire, somebody with a whole lot of money is asking people to donate so that they can, so that she can then purchase the MacBook and then give the MacBook back to one of the people that gave away the money instead of just simply buying the MacBook, especially when you reiterate so many different times that you don't need the money. Sounds like a scam to me, but hey, you know, to each his own finesse, don't keep on finessing, but baby. We got her also trending for another reason. Now, it seems that Scott Jackson uh, might be a little bit petty, a little bit messy, a little bit nasty when it comes to her interaction with Storm Reed because some fans are speculating that she took a jab at her after Storm Reed posted herself with a new hairstyle. And then shortly sometime after that, uh, we got Miss Scott Jackson posting that exact same hairstyle as a throwback. And some people took it as a way of her saying, hey, you know, that's cute and all. But um, just remember who did it first. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stay out of that one because, you know, I'm a man. I like to stay out of grown women's business. But I want to know what you guys think down below.